Queen Elizabeth II, the UK's longest serving monarch, had a tenure that spanned post-war austerity, the transition from empire to commonwealth, the end of the Cold War, to and the UK's the entry into and withdrawal from the European the Union. People, to increase life chances for the most disadvantaged and to strengthen national defences. She was born in Mayfair, London, as the first child of the Duke and Duchess of York. Her father acceded the throne in 1936 upon abdication of his brother, King Edward VIII, making Elizabeth the heir presumptive. When her father died in February 1952, Elizabeth became Queen Regent. At the age of 25, she reigned as a constitutional monarch through major political changes, such as troubles in Northern Ireland, the decolonization of Africa, and the UK's accession to the European communities and withdrawal from the European Union. In 1953, she was crowned at Westminster Abbey in the first major televised international event. And sales of TV sets surged as people gathered in their front rooms to watch the ceremony. Her reign spanned 14 prime ministers, starting with Winston Churchill, born in 1874, and including Liz Truss, the country's new prime minister, born 101 years later in 1975, and appointed by the Queen earlier this week. She had also met with 14 U.S. presidents. Her reign spanned 13 Nigerian presidents. She visited Nigeria twice between January and February of 1956 and in December of 2003 to attend the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting. Years after she granted Nigeria her independence in 1960, though retained as head of state and queen of Nigeria until 1963. In 1977, the queen toured Britain and the Commonwealth for her Silver Jubilee, reiterating her vows of service, the celebration was a ray of light in a period of economic gloom, industrial decline, and a series of industrial disputes. The lowest point of her reign was in 1992 when her first son, Prince Charles, separated from his wife Diana following a tell-all book. Her second son, Prince Andrew, also separated from his wife, and her only daughter, Princess Anne, divorced her husband, while Windsor Castle was seriously damaged by fire. Then there was Diana's death in 1997. Nine. Things brightened again when the Golden Jubilee came along in 2002 and Britain once again showed their support for the monarchy. In 2012, the Queen once again toured every region of Britain ahead of a four-day party marking her Diamond Jubilee, while other royals made visits across the Commonwealth. The monarch followed up with a starring role at the London Olympics, appearing alongside James Bond, actor Daniel Craig, at the opening ceremony. When the coronavirus struck in 2020, the Queen was forced into isolation, but she continued to carry out her engagements online. She braved through the passing of her beloved Prince Philip and his funeral in April 2021. Fears for her health grew later, after she spent a night in hospital out of an abundance of caution. Perhaps the last time the Queen was seen was at the celebration of a platinum jubilee in June this year, when she appeared on the balcony of Buckingham Palace for a few minutes and waved, much to the delights of the crowd. And after 70 years of service, Her Majesty, loved by Britons and around the world, passed away peacefully at her home in Balmoral Castle. Amarachi Ubani, Channel Television News.